Another way to find a pi tag is to use an alias search. Now this brings up the whole concept of the pi module database. It's kind of an asset database to allow you to organize your pi tags using a, a hierarchy. So that instead of remembering naming conventions, for example, you could just search for things that you're interested in. So let me show you how this would help. Uh, I will bring up the, uh, an example of Yes, our Cheesecake Factory. Let's pretend that we've got oh, a situation in which we make cheesecakes and we do that uh, with uh, a structure that creates first the crust of the cheesecake and then another structure that creates the cake. Two different units, two vessels, one crust, one cake. And the output from the crust mixer and the cake mixer go into what we're calling our super cake maker. Well, I can take something like that, an admittedly kind of a silly example, and I can build a structure in the Pi module database such that I can navigate to Pi tags using those names, using that structure, instead of having to remember some kind of naming convention. So let me give you an example. Uh, this is a trend that has not been configured. I would like to look at the counter that counts how many cakes are being produced in the Super Cake Maker. Now I don't know anything about the name of that tag, but I do know that I have a crust unit a cake unit and a super cake maker. So if I know those three things, what I can do is I can say, well, let's go look for a, not a tag, but let's do a search for an alias. So this is bringing up the alias or the tag search. There we go. Sorry, I didn't click that correctly. Yeah, this is going to bring up the alias search. And within the alias search, well, notice I have it's a list of all my uh, current servers, but I have here within my current server, I have a structure called the Cheesecake Factory. And this is good news. Within the Cheesecake Factory, I can find the Super Cake Maker unit. There it is. And it tells me that this is the tag I'm interested in. It's called the Cake Counter. So when I select that, it's essentially, it's, it's selecting an alias, which in fact is pointing to the tag called ccf colon scm dot counter. So when I go ahead and choose OK, it's going to go ahead and populate this with that uh, tag. There we go, with that alias name. And uh, I'll change this. Let me change that to four hours so we can see some results. What we'll be able to see when we say OK is it's going to go out and, and get that tag based on the alias name that I searched for. So as you can see, it's just a, a slightly easier way of finding tags. Instead of using a naming convention, we're using a module lookup.